Code seven. Code seven? Out to long. Yes. Yes, all right. Thank you very much. What you got? Yeah. Rustic dream house, two plus two, rock fireplaces. That means there's two of them. Mm -hmm. uh, ideal place for raising children, 20 minutes from the heart of town, reasonably priced. It sounds too good to be true. Yeah, it might be, but we've got an appointment to see it in 15 minutes. Oh, yeah? All right, look. Uh, I gotta check two patients, and I'll meet you downstairs in the lobby. Okay, but hurry, there's nothing to read in the lobby. Mm -hmm. Maybe that 65 marks good housekeeping. People who can't pay off shouldn't gamble, Sonny. You'll get your money back, Mr. Marston, just as soon as I get it. I already waited too long. 80,000's a lot of money. I know, look, if you could just have a little more patience. No, your father is one of the wealthiest men in this city. Controls how many companies? Eight, nine? It's no deal, Mr. Marston. I asked him. He's not going to bail me out again this time. Come here. You know what they call that in the Old West? Dead man's hand. I just dealt it to you. Oh, no. Oh, no, you can't. I don't think you heard what I just said, Sonny. Time, Mr. Marston. That's all I need is time. Two weeks, three at the most. You'll have all your money back with interest. Look, I've never begged before in my life, Mr. Marston. Look at me. I'm begging you now. I'm pleading you for one lousy brain. It's too late, Sonny. That bad mouth about Roger Marston going soft, it's no good for my business. i tell you what I'll do, though. I'll tell Vinny to make it fast. And painless, you will feel a thing. Not a thing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! 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 time I got up from the lobby, Winfield was long gone, leaving Marston's dead body behind. I thought he'd quit the records. All the gambling vice says he runs one of the biggest games in town. Hey, Joe, you sure it was Blair Winfield, huh? I'm positive. Blair was on my service six, seven months ago. Do you remember what he's being treated for? Yeah, just some um, minor injuries. Drunk driving. He had some parked cars. Drunk driving, bad checks, gambling, you name it, Winfield's been into it. Skinner and I busted him a year ago for busting up a nightclub when the owner tried to 86 him. Turned out to be a waste of time. Daddy's lawyers got him off, just like they always do. Yeah, well, not this time. This time it's a murder warrant. And your testimony, Jules, can help put him away for a long time. Yeah. 
Well, look, if, um, if you guys don't need me anymore... Oh, no, no, baby. Uh, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Could you take me home, sweetheart? Come on, baby. I'm sorry about the house, honey. That's okay. I got tomorrow off. We can look then. Blair Winfield sounds like quite a guy. Hmm. Why don't we check in and see if uh, our APB has turned up all American boy? Well, what proof have you got? Or uh, think that you've got? I got an eyewitness with 2020 vision, a solid citizen. Uh, it's probably someone who bears a grudge against Blair. Mrs. Danko is a respected nurse, has never had any reason whatsoever to like or dislike your son until he tried to kill her. That's preposterous. I know my son isn't a model of virtue, but still he isn't the type who would try to commit a murder. What the hell is the type? Is there some way to tell? No. Science may one day accomplish that, but it hasn't done so yet. You know, Lieutenant, you've got a hostile attitude. Well, you've got a dangerous son. Now, you tell me where he is, and I'll remove my hostile attitude from your presence. I don't know where he is. Do you know anything about the Penal Code, Section 32? Accessory to a crime? For you to withhold your son's whereabouts is a felony, Mr. Winfield. I think you can find your way out. I think I can. I'm not so sure if you're gonna be able to. this time. Murder. You should have given me the money. What was I supposed to do? Stand around and let Marston's hoods kill me? Uh, it's done now, Blair. What we need is a solution. Oh, yeah. Well, you've always been the answer, man. This ought to be a snap for you. Well, maybe it will be a snap. Marsden's reputation was the fact that he threatened your life. It gives us strong plea bargaining power. Yeah? How strong? Well, enough that the DA might settle for manslaughter. Me go to prison? I've got friends. You, you'd be out in less than a year. No way. Forget it. Oh, no! Blair. One stinking day in prison, I'd be a basket case. What, do you want me thrown in with that scum? You want me thrown in with a bunch of perverts? Is that what you want? Blair, I want to help you. Then you help me get enough money to take care of that nurse. Who you, uh, you think she can be bought? No. <laughs> what makes you think she can't? Because her husband's a cop. Now, wait a minute. Uh, are you talking about another killing? Look, I don't like it any better than you, but there's no other way. Now, I've been thinking about it. There's a guy I know from the racetrack. For the right kind of money, he'd do it. No. Yes. And uh, that abandoned rock quarry that Uncle Charlie owns, he could take her there and do it. She'd never be found. Now, you stop it, Blair. Without a body, they couldn't prove murder. Oh, my God, Blair, what has happened to you? I'm scared, Dad. I'm boxed in. And there's not going to be any slap on the wrist from some judge that owes you a favor. They're going to crucify me. First-degree murder plus attempted murder on that nurse. There will be no more killings, and that is final. Wrong. You're not calling the shots anymore. You see this? My life is on the line, and you won't back me up. Now, you put that gun away. No. You stay right where you are. And as soon as you get out that door, I'm going to call the police. No, you won't. Like that cop said, you're an accessory to murder. You get out of here. You get out of my life and you stay out! on that nurse? Yep. I had to bribe one of them hospital janitors just to get a look see the personnel records. When are we gonna burn her? Tomorrow morning. Okay. Well, then don't you think it's about time we start talking money? We already did. Yeah, I know, but I'm, I'm flat busted now. I gave that janitor my last 20 bucks. 
You get 5000 after. I know, but couldn't you give me a little good faith money up front? Oh, no. What you want is traveling money. Where are you headed, Mexico? Canada. <laughs> now, look here, Blair. I ain't gonna run out on you. I'm sorry, I don't trust you. I got a feeling the cops want you pretty badly. You get $5,000 after the job is done. Okay. You don't have it in your mind to welch on me now, do you? You get every cent of it. Good. Because whether I snuff one person or two, don't make no never mind to me. It's just the price of a bullet. You get my drift? Where do you want me to pick you up? Tommy's pad, 9 a.m. Okay. You got it. One dead nurse coming up. right there in black and white. Maybe for Howard Hughes, but remember, you're married to a cop, you know? Yeah, well, we're here now. We might as well just go ahead. Yeah, we are. What's going on? You wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. didn't give us much to go on. I wonder if these two gentlemen could talk to Mr. Danko when he regains consciousness, if his condition permits. Mm -hmm. Anything you say, Lieutenant? Oh, Jill was a good friend of mine. Um, I, I sort of helped to uh, break her in. I just hope that you find her. Be Blair Winfield. Who else could it be? Without Jill, the DA doesn't have a case. Let me know what you get from Danko. Winfield, please. Lieutenant Riker. Where is he? When do you expect to see him? You find Mr. Winfield. You tell him that I want to talk to him in his office right now. How far is it to this rock quarry? It's not far. Say, Blair. She sure is a pretty gal. Seems a shame to waste her this way. Now, what do you say we pull off someplace and have ourselves a party? <laughs> hey, you just keep driving.
Reggie! 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that'll pull you from here to kingdom come. He's hurt pretty bad. You gotta help me get him out. The only thing I'm gonna help you do is die. Look, I'm a nurse and he's hurt. Now, do you want us both dead? You? Yes. Him? No. He owes me a pile of money. Get him. Oh, Richie. Easy. Oh. How bad is he? There's a sharp piece of metal in his chest near his heart. Do you have a knife? No. Yes, I got a fishing knife in the trunk of the car. Okay, get it, build a fire, and sterilize the blade. You gonna take that out? Well, I'm gonna try to, because if I don't, I think he'll die. Give me your shirt. Say what? Your shirt! I don't take orders from nobody, especially no girl. Look, if you want him to live, you're gonna have to take orders. Now, give me your shirt and get the knife and hurry up. Uh, 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 wreck the car, uh, uh, Switch. Richie? See, you got my message. Yes, I did. And I want you to know that I consider it outright harassment. You try another phone call like that and I'll have your badge. I see that message had an effect. Did you hear what I just said? Yeah, I heard what you just said, and it upset me. Because if I had a buck for every time that my badge has been threatened, I could have gone into retirement on 20 years, and I'd be sunning myself somewhere on a beach right now. Just state your case, Lieutenant, and then get out of here. All right, I have a little problem. I am a public servant of the old school, and I cannot comprehend how anyone, including yourself, is above the law. So? So if you feel that in any way I am harassing you, you pick up that phone and you call the chief of police and you do it right now. Just what do you want, Lieutenant? Your son. We were over those grounds yesterday. Well, new ground has been broken. It's a little matter of a kidnapped shooting. Yeah, I listened to the news. Well, here's something you didn't hear on the news. Mike Danko and his wife mean a great deal to me on a gut level. If that young woman sustains so much as a hangnail, nothing will stop me from getting my hands on the perpetrator and his accessories. This is your last call, Winfield. Where is he? I don't know. There's only 
word. No. Mike, do you feel like giving us any details? Uh, yeah. There's not much to give. It was uh, two, two dudes in, with masks. And the car was um, a blue two-door Chevy. It's 60, 63, 64. What about a license number? Everything, everything happened so fast. Can you think of anything else? We think it was Blair Winfield and a friend. Figures. God. It's so weird. What? I just... Make it? I don't know. Night air won't help. I need shelter. What about that abandoned railway station? We passed just before we crashed. You think you could carry him that far? <laughs> For five thousand dollars, I could carry a pregnant elephant. You think you can walk it? Do I have any choice? None. Unless. Of course, you want me to carry it. Yeah, I think I'd rather crawl. Just yeah. yourself. I just don't want nothing more to go wrong with my meal ticket here. You better be careful. Pick up that stuff. He needs water. 
Maybe you ought to take the flashlight to see if you can get some. I thought I told you to quit ordering me around. I thought you wanted him to live. Look, just don't you try to leave this place. Because all you're going to find out there is me and the darkness. You get that? Be still. Come on. Be still. Can you hear me? You're in a boxcar. Richie carried you here after we crashed. My chest. I had to take a piece of metal out of it. Why? Because I was afraid it might work its way into your heart. I mean, why bother? I'm a nurse. That doesn't make sense. No. <laughs> no, I don't guess it does make sense to you. I mean, you don't save the life of somebody that's trying to kill you, even if you are a nurse. You do if you've never learned how to play God. I thought about not helping you. And then I thought if I refused to save your life, it was the same thing as taking it. And human life is the most precious gift we have. Nobody's got the right to take it. Be still and uh, try to get some rest. unreal, you know that? I'm real. I'm real, and I'm scared, and I'm angry. I'm scared, too. I've come a long way down. All the way down to the bottom. tell you the truth. I wish you had played God this afternoon. I honestly do. Let's get some sleep. <laughs> Why? All I participated in this afternoon was one shooting and one kidnapping. That's not funny. I'm sorry. Danko. I hope your husband's okay. Wish you thought about that before.
Every time we get a lead, it takes us right up a blind alley. Ballistics confirms that you were shot by the same gun that killed a game warden near Fresno recently. And they also confirmed that the last owner of the gun was a killer for hire by the name of Richie Malone. We don't know where he is. Well, assuming it was Malone who shot me, he must still be with Winfield. Takes us right back to square one. What about Winfield Sr.? You get anything out of him? My ulcer came back and I got a sore throat from talking to a stone wall. We can't touch him without evidence. Well, I'm gonna get some evidence. I don't know how, but I'm gonna get it. I'll catch up with him. I, uh, I wish I had some magical words, you know? Yeah, I do. I wish we had the magic to turn the clock back 24 hours. Thank you, man. For what? Just for being. You too. For water, did you get it? No, no, the flashlight gave out. Why don't you just get away from me? Huh? You start being nice to me. Have a good time. You just stay back. Richie? Leave her alone. But what if I don't want to? I caught a half her to get me out of here. I'll pay you $1,000 extra. <laughs> you just got yourself a deal. You ain't gonna soft on me, are you, Blair? Now, we're still gonna snuff her, ain't we? Yeah. Sure, we're gonna snuff her. Not a thermometer. If you really cared about him, you'd go out and get him some water. Now, you listen to me. When Blair can leave this place, and we do leave this place, I'm gonna shut that mouth of yours permanent. You get the idea? Richie. Now, you're alive only to keep him alive. Richie, do what she says, please. All right, all right, I'm going. I don't like this whole setup anyway. Should have been halfway to Canada by now. Um, I'm sorry about what happened. What do you mean, last night? About what your friend did? or about announcing that you still plan to kill me. Oh, uh, I don't want to kill you. I just don't want to go to jail. I don't think I can handle it. Yeah, well, you're gonna have to handle it. 
Because I don't know when or where or how, but I do know that sooner or later they'll catch you. They will. And when they do, there's nothing that even your father can do to help you. Mrs. Bart. Mr. Winfield, there's a man on line one who insists on talking to you. He refuses to give his name, but it has something to do with your son. Uh, put him through. Rex Winfield speaking. Now listen carefully, Winfield. I'm Blair's partner. Who, who is it? I told you to listen. Now something went wrong. Blair's hurt bad and needs help. He says you know where to find him. Uh, how badly is he hurt? Ludlow 9 to Air 1. Can you read me? Over. Air 1 to Ludlow 9. Read you loud and clear. Lieutenant, we made the call. Everything is good down here. Roger, Ludlow 9. We are now circling over the Winfield building. like a bullseye. Winfield's Lincoln just pulled out of the subterranean garage. Stand by, and I will tell you what direction he's headed. Air one to Ludlow nine. The suspect is headed north on Belmont. Stand by on this frequency. I'll give you further reports of his position. Air one out. <sighs> Fever's worse. I'm thirsty. Where's Richie with the water? <laughs> Maybe he hides back to civilization. <laughs> no way. Richie can't afford civilization without my money. Hmm. How's it feel to buy a man's soul? Ask my father. He's bought people all his life. Including you. Yeah, especially me. Rex Winfield bought me with money and credit cards. You didn't have to accept him. I know that now. It's a bit late to change things. It's never too late to change. <laughs> you don't build a future with a life sentence hanging over your head. Look, you know, a lot of lifers get paroled after 15 years, even less. <laughs> Life begins at 45, is that what you're saying? No. I'm saying that if a person really wants to change, he can do it, no matter what his age.
Mrs. Danko? Yeah. How's your leg? Why the sudden concern? I've been thinking about it. I don't want you here when Richie comes back. I don't know if it's something you said or did or, or what, but I just want you out of here safely. I don't know if this leg can make it. It has to. Look, I know Richie. He won't leave any witnesses. If you can make it to a road or something, follow that. What about you, though? <laughs> anyway, someone has to be here to welcome the cops. It's kind of a sudden change, isn't it? I've had a lot of time to think about it. Maybe you're right. Maybe life can begin at 45. Look, what about you? You said Richie wouldn't leave any witnesses behind. You're a witness. No. I still owe Richie money. I'm his way out. Mm, with guys like Richie, that's no guarantee. Uh, if he gets edgy, I'll, I'll stall him till he come back with the cops. If he gets edgy, you won't be able to stall him. Look. I thought about using this a couple of times, you know. But I guess I never will learn how to play God. Now look. That is strictly for protection against Richie. Okay? You ask me where the water is, and I'll knock you plump through that wall. I walked ten miles. Couldn't find nothing. Richie, can you shut up, you boy? I've had my belly full of this whole thing. Listen, he's dehydrated. No. Without water, he's only gonna get worse. You want water? Go get water! Would you just listen to me, please? I warned you. Now, both of you, just leave me alone. I've got some thinking to do. Mike's description on it. Yeah, it looks like it. Let's take a look. Yeah, I've called right here. Ludlow 9, the Air 1. We have a crashed vehicle down here that matches the description of the kidnapped car. Permission to check it out. Roger, I keep tabs on Whitfield. It's been down here too long. Well, I'm no trailblazer, but uh, I'd say this way. Come on. Fever's worse. Look, somebody's got to get water. That won't be necessary now. I just thought up a new idea here. Now, if we was to, we're, we're going to sit around here and wait for Blair to get well, it's going to take a month of Sunday. So what I figure is I'll just get Blair to tell me where I can pick my money up in town. No way, Richie. You're wrong. Now, all I got to do is apply a little pressure to his chest. Am I right? Howdy. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Take it easy, Blair. Blair. 
Now look, why don't, why don't you and me, we just sit down here and we'll talk about this. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> 